Should you bring a container to Ecuador with all your stuff? We'll let you know right after this. <laughs> what was this little? I don't know. <laughs> Like in this one, Chris? Yeah, that's the best one I've ever had. Okay, there's Chris having some <laughs> lemon ants. <laughs> So here we are. Today is moving day. We have a lift van that's coming within uh, the next hour or two. And the lift van is going to move all of our chosen items. Now, it was so hard to pick what we wanted to bring. My husband is an electronics guy. I am a decor woman. So we had a few little squabbles over that, but nothing really. But um, yeah, our our crate isn't really all that big, so I don't know what's going to happen. We're a little on edge because we don't know if we're going to be able to get what we want actually in the lift van. But as you can see, here is some of my husband's items here. He's got uh, some speakers, all the speaker wires. He's got a shield. He's got, you know, you gotta have uh, the Game of Thrones mugs here and some books. And uh, of course you gotta have some swords. Here's my little pile. I've got um, quilts, pillows, rugs, a vase that my husband thinks I should leave here. Um, lots of boxes of decor stuff. And of course I need my vacuum. Gotta have my vacuum. I don't think they even sell vacuums in uh, Ecuador. So there you have it. I will keep you updated as to what we actually got in that van. Hello from Ecuador. So should you bring a container or not? And it really depends. We did, we did. and I don't think we regret it. No, don't regret it. But we probably would have brought things differently now that we're here and see things. Yeah, so maybe learn from, from our mistakes. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I think one of the good things with bringing a container, and actually we, we brought what they call a lift van, which is a smaller version of a container. It's just this boxed up wooden crate that fits inside a container. So it's a smaller size at a, like at a cheaper price. Six feet by maybe five feet. Well, we made it a lot bigger in the end, so I'm not sure exactly <laughs> what the measurements were in the end. But, uh, you know, from sort of my perspective, if you have something special, specialty equipment, that you want to get down here, um, any kind of special tools, then it's probably worth it because that type of uh, specialty equipment is, is hard to find here. Um, but normal electronics and things, it's all here. Yeah, it's all here. Yeah. You so know, TVs, you don't need to bring TVs. Like, you know, and, and, and unless you're in, you know, a major audiophile or something where the exact model is really important to you, Everything else is, is, is basically here. So yeah. we brought a lot of stuff that we probably didn't need to bring, yeah. Yeah. right? So one of the things that we did bring that uh, now I look back, I would not have put into our uh, container was area rugs. I had heard other people saying, you can't really get area rugs here. So if you want your area rugs, you gotta bring them. So I did bring mine. Um, Unfortunately, I live on the coast, and when you're living on the coast, 
Uh, an area rug is probably not something that you should be bringing. Yeah, there's a reason it's hard to get here, because you probably shouldn't have them here, so they don't sell them hardly at all. The salt and the sand come in your house, like, all the time. That's what happens when you live on the coast. And it's humid, so the rugs would pick up lots of smells. It's just, it's just not a practical thing to have. No. So, yeah, I would kibosh the uh, area rug uh, if I was doing that again. But uh, some of the things that I think I would have brought, um, I would have definitely brought my silverware. Um, flatware here is, is not what it is like at home. Well, the style is very simple here. It's very simple. Whereas I like something maybe a little more heavier, substantial, and I have seen some of you um, commenting on that as well. That yeah, at home we make it all gaudy and ugly and we got used to having it like that, right? <laughs> Whereas here they're very <laughs> functional and very simple. Yeah, it's true, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's not all these designs on them and all no. that kind of stuff that's that we true. just get used to. A lot depends how you're brought up, what you're used to, what culture you come from, and, and you want to bring some of those things with you. Um, you know, th things that are sentimental to you and large um, then you probably want to bring those. We didn't do too much of that. We, we actually took pictures of things that were important to us and then gave it away to uh, family members. Uh, and then we had a picture to remember um, that particular item that was sentimental to us. I did bring some sentimental things though. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely have a little box of stuff that uh, means something to me and uh, I'm glad I brought that for yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. Now the other thing to look at is the monetary aspect of it. Um, in our opinion, you can't really justify like there's no business case to bring it to bring down. It's really about you know you wanting your stuff and how much you're willing to pay to have some of those items down here um, because it's expensive enough that you could replace everything. Um, down here for cheaper than what it is to bring to bring a crate down uh, in the vast majority of, uh, of things with the exception again of specialty items and specialty equipment but if it's normal household goods and you're thinking you won't be able to get normal household goods here for a reasonable price that's actually not true it maybe was a couple of years ago when we actually started researching right Chris yeah. we read a lot about how expensive electronics was here and TVs and things and and yeah. that price difference has really shrunk uh, down a lot where yeah. there's really not a lot of justification um, you know it still is a little more expensive but it's not that huge amount uh, not really where, no. where, where it was so all our stuff from Canada has arrived today Everything's being unpacked. We probably brought way too much stuff. So. so Chris, how are you feeling? We got our stuff! Yay! <laughs> So Chris is in major unpacking mode. Luckily, she started unpacking my stuff first. <laughs> I always think of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So what do we got here? We got a couple monitors for the computer, some speakers, make the room shake when we're watching movies. And, uh, this is so much like Christmas. Oh, here's more Yeah, she's stuff. so happy. Look at your stuff. Oh man. yeah, what's that? Your disco ball. It's not a disco ball. <laughs> well, I guess it kind of is. It kind of is, actually. So, little did I know there are experts in Bluetooth speakers down here, and that seems to be the number one speaker, but. Good, girly. There we go. Yes, we are happy. We finally got our stuff. <laughs> yeah, we get to have all our stuff back, yay. Okay. Now you gotta figure out where to put it all. <laughs> yeah, well, actually there's not a lot of, like, little stuff, really. It's mostly, like, speakers, yeah. monitors, 
decor that goes on walls. So, so part of know. making our uh, house a home, right? It is. And Willow's into trouble over there, so. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, she's always into trouble. And of course, how many pillows can a house have? You can never have enough pillows, right, ladies? <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> I think the dogs recognize all the smells. I think they do, actually. They're yeah. thinking, oh, what's going on? Henry, are you all tired out? So one thing we will add here is um, the time frame for you to get your container. Um, it, it, it doesn't come just like that. So don't think that uh, you're going to be getting your stuff as soon as you get down here. Exactly. Like if you're going to plan like we tried to do, thinking, oh, we'll be able to plan the exact week all our stuff arrives, and we pick certain things to go in our container, thinking, oh, it'll be here the week after we get down here. Big mistake. Yeah. It didn't show up. Uh, it, it took a little bit longer than expected, but um, that's not from the company that we were dealing with. That was because the ports are totally all filled. And from my understanding, it's not just Ecuador, but all over the world where people get their containers shipped, it's taking longer than usual. Yeah, like it was right after, right after COVID, the economy's picking up everywhere. So, so basically from the time it was shipped from Canada, um, and leaving Canada to getting to Guayaquil, port in Guayaquil, um, was about a month, give or, give or take a week. And, uh, and then it sat in Guayaquil waiting for the inspectors to kind of go through it all, and that took about a month. Because it didn't go through just one inspector, it actually <laughs> has to go through a few inspectors. Yeah, I thought the bureaucracy in Canada was bad, but no. uh, it's just as bad here around <laughs> that kind, kind, kind of stuff. Now, now, if you've done research, um, on a container, you'll know uh, that there's all these forms you got to fill out, inventory forms, very, very specific. How many of this? How many of that? And, um, and what we did, um, uh, we actually used uh, uh, Sandra from, uh, from uh, San Sanistar International Shipping here in Ecuador. And there's someone else as well. If you go to, um, to uh, the Facebook group Ecuador Expats, there's another company there that's recommended all the time. So it's basically those are the are the big two, and you should get quotes from both of them. The money can change, and the timing can change, and and find out what the latest reviews are on uh, on those people. Um, but what she did for us, which was fantastic, which we really liked, is is we went down when it when it came to uh, port in Guayaquil. Um, we went there and we uh, signed over power of attorney to her um, for specifically um, bringing, importing our stuff into Ecuador. And what she did was open all the boxes, her and her team, and made the list. So that took that huge job that we would have done in Canada at the last minute trying to get all that right. She took that away from, from us, did that all herself, and, and that, was, that was fantastic. Yeah, was we good. didn't have to worry about any of that stuff. No. Now, one other thing to consider is there's alternatives. Um, what we've read about some people doing is they'll fly down here in business class so they can get extra luggage at a much cheaper uh, rate. Um, we've heard other people flying down and paying for extra luggage, you know, 12, 15 bags. Um, so if you have smaller stuff and you still want to bring a lot, you can kind of go that route, and that would still be far cheaper than mm. uh, than a um, container or lift van in our case. And personally, looking back at it now, um, I think that's what I probably would would have done because a lot of the stuff I brought, I really didn't need to bring. It's already here, so. Yeah, there's so, you know, there's so, that's, that's probably one of the things, we're not misinformed, but I didn't really research it enough, is, is that there's a, there's a ton of things here. You just have to take the time looking for it. Mm -hmm. um, even though we live in a, in a small uh, town on the coast, um, you know, we, we go to La Libertad on a pretty uh, regular basis, Salinas. Um, and it's just over over an hour, uh, and they have like big shops where you can go, where you can buy you can buy anything. You can get everything you need. Pretty much. Yeah. You know, and and if there's something you can't find, well, 
maybe you shouldn't find it because <laughs> because you should you should not worry about having that particular brand or or spice and try and discover all the new particular things that they have here new spices new brands new different things that's kind of what we did for yeah. a few different items and it's yeah. it's worked out great yeah so all in all the answer is maybe. Is maybe. <laughs> As we're, most answers in life. <laughs> we're, we're actually not sure if it was worth it or not, but uh, we do have some of the stuff that did mean something to us. Now, whether it should have went into a container or it should have went into a suitcase, another story. But yeah. Is that an earthquake right now, or is you just banging the table? Oh, it's me banging the table. Oh, okay. you got to <laughs> watch out for those earthquakes. Okay, take care, everybody. Till next time. Bye. Live the life you love.